All right, so you know like if you visit Japan as a tourist and you want to take a souvenir back home, you kind of think like, all right, so what is Japanese that I can take back home so I can remember my trip to Japan? So what do people usually take back home? Some people like to take Kit Kats to like the family and friends because Japan has so many weird flavors of Kit Kats and they're really fun to try out. Other people like to take chopsticks, you know, because it's very Asian and you know, you just buy like a nice pair of chopsticks and you know, go take it to your friends or family. And another more unique souvenir is Daruma dolls. And I actually have a Daruma doll right here. I bought it for myself because I mean, you know, why not? So the question is, what are these things? You know, like why do people buy them? Why are they so interesting? Well, I did some quick Googling for you guys and you know, I kind of found out a little bit of information about it. So pretty much it's based off a Buddhist monk. You know, he pretty much he meditated for like nine years, you know, and he was wearing a red robe the entire time. And it pretty much showed that he had like a lot of determination and he went down like as a legend. So I mean, that's pretty much what it's based off. And the most iconic color of Daruma doll is the red color. And there is actually a Pokemon based off this doll. And the Pokemon's name is Darumaka. You know, here's a picture of him. All right, so the next question is like, what do you do with these dolls? So pretty much you buy one of these dolls. And as you can see, like both of the eyes are blank. And you're supposed to fill in one of the eyes, like paint in one of the eyes. And you're supposed to think like of a wish or a goal that you want to accomplish in your life. So after you fill in the eye, you're supposed to try your best to accomplish that goal. You know, kind of like the monk show determination and just go towards your goal you know don't give up just keep going and going until you finally achieve your goal and after you achieve your goal then you fill in the other eye to kind of show that hey I accomplished my goal so it's like a little lucky charm and that's pretty much it so like I said the red color is the, the most iconic color but there's actually many colors out there and each color represents something like right here I have a little paper that kind of shows you like what each color represents for example the red color represents family and then the yellow color represents money white is health green is studies or like education purple is for good luck and pink is for love so depending on your wish like if you want to wish I don't know, to get married sometime in the future or sometime soon then you would want to get the pink color you know and you know if you want to wish like something for your family then you will get the red color now the thing about the colors is like depending on what store you go to the colors each represent something different according to this paper the white one represents health but sometimes it's the green one that represents health so I mean it depends on the store you go to and there isn't any official connections like between what they represent so I mean it really just whatever you want you know whatever color you want I guess but according to to my paper this is what I'm basing it off on so anyway that's what the Daruma doll is for you know it's just a good luck charm you know fill in one eye wish for something fill in the other eye after you accomplish your goal they are fun little souvenirs you know to give to your friends or family it is very Japanese and they're just cool to have you know if any of you out there know more about this doll and have any more information you know drop a comment because I, I really don't know much about them and you know I just thought it was like a really cool souvenir to like kind of share with everybody but yeah you know let me know what you think drop a comment drop a like and and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace out.